Hi everyone, with May upon us, I am working on a Space Day painting. So this is the one I'm making today and I will show you how to paint this with your loved ones. So stick with me and I'll show you how. For this project I am using construction paper as the background to paint on. You can use plain paper for this. I'm choosing to use construction paper because the purple color will show through if I miss any spots with the paint. You could probably use blue paper for this or black paper. Um, I wanted to use black paper, but my construction paper pad didn't have any black in it, so I chose purple. To paint onto the paper, I am using tempera paint that comes in the little puck shapes. It does a really good job of covering the paper, and it's easy to mix. And I'm just using the three colors of blue, black, and purple, starting with the blue, And then adding some black over top and then some purple and focusing most of the paint along the top of the paper because that's going to be the sky and then I'm going to change up the colors into yellow and white and I'm going to create a night sky before I paint in the moon part and I'm going to use a bit of a splatter painting technique to get the stars in the sky. So this is one way of doing it. You can put some paint on the brush and then tap together like drumsticks to get the paint to splatter onto the paper. And people with dementia really like doing this because they can kind of get a rhythm going. They enjoy the, the rhythmic tap, tap, tap of hitting the brushes together and watching the paint land onto the paper. Another way to get a splatter effect is with an old toothbrush. This is a little bit more messy and you have to make sure that you rub the bristles in the right way. That you rub them from the outside and then towards yourself because if it goes the opposite way you end up wearing the paint rather than putting the paint onto the paper. But it is fun to mess around with the toothbrush and the paint as well. After creating the sky I am going to start making the moon for my astronaut to stand on. So I'm just using the white temper paint. As you can see with the temper paint, you can mix it up quite thick and it goes on over top of other colors quite well. There's a little bit of bleeding through, but for the most part it covers really well. And because it's water washable, I really enjoy using it with clients. So while you're painting this, perhaps some memories about the first landing on the moon will come up for your loved one. They may have been watching it on television when it happened. I know that television was still very new technology at that time and it was probably a very memorable event for them. So now I'm going to mix up the white paint and make it quite thick to paint in my astronaut. And the astronaut's kind of the fun part um, to paint in. I'll describe how to draw or paint one. I always start with the head because they have a big round head with the helmet. And then it's just a matter of adding a little body to that and some arms and some legs and feet. It's okay if they look quite large because they do wear gloves and boots when they're in outer space. And then after this, I outline the helmet so nice and round and then, and then add the little visor part onto the front. And then start drawing in the what looks like a shirt and sleeves and gloves and then the boots as well. And then once the paint dried I wanted to make some parts look extra white so I grabbed a white pencil crayon and added a little bit of white on top of there and some blue onto the visor.
I hope you enjoyed that and that you are feeling inspired to make your own space day painting like this one. And until the next video, take care. Bye-bye.